Hello and welcome, friends. Today we have an interesting story with us, but before you start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and activate the notifications button to get all our videos to you. The first time I saw her, I was walking on the beach alone. The beach was deserted. There's no one else here but me and her. So I was seeing her even though she was a big distance ahead of me. I saw her black dress and hair flying with air and wind, but I ignored it at the time without knowing that my life would change for the worse over time. It was months after this situation before I saw her again. The second time I saw her was in the parking lot near the supermarket and it was late. It was about 11 o'clock at night, then I walked out of the supermarket and walked through the empty stand with my hands. At this time there were not many cars, but the cars there were standing near the supermarket. Her moment I saw her. She was standing at the end of the situation, under one of the lamp posts, so far away that I couldn't see her features. But there was something in the black dress, and the hair that flew with the air made me feel like I had seen it before. Then I didn't remember the first time I saw her, but I felt a scary sense, and from the time I started to notice her more and more, every time I stood in the supermarket or movie park, I saw her standing between cars. Or I see her under a pillar of light or the middle of the tree wearing the same black dress and her hair flying with air. So quickly I started seeing her near my house. Every time I looked out of the window at night, I saw her standing in the dark or in the shadows. And other times I see her in a neighbor's house, and times I see her in my back garden. I feared a lot and called him and told them that someone was standing in the woods behind my house, and I asked them to send some of them searching the woods and assuring me. I saw the police inspect the whole area, and she's standing in her place. They walk past her several times and she predicts that one of them will speak to her. But they didn't see it, and eventually they came to me and said they searched the place and found nothing. I tried to convince myself that I imagined, but she kept getting closer and closer to me. Sometimes I would go with my friends, eating at the restaurant, and I would see her standing outside the restaurant, and times my dog and I walk out and see her stand and watch me from behind the window of a neighbor's house. And every time it came closer, and when it got closer to a certain distance, I could see her features. Her face was black, makeup on her face. And the terrifying smile is painted on her face. I couldn't understand these times I feel like she's laughing, and other times I feel like she's crying. For three consecutive days, she put her face on the glass of my home windows, watching me cook, cleaning, watching TV. I couldn't sleep. I tried to talk to her. I tried to ask her any question. I tried to ask her requests. I begged her, and I humiliated her. I screamed at her and cried at her, but she didn't answer me at any time, not even knocked out a voice and she didn't move. I took time off my job, I couldn't eat or sleep, and I spent my whole time at home like a crazy one. Relax it from behind the window or cry like crazy, I was losing my mind when I imagined myself losing in my life because of brain dysfunction that makes me see predisposition. I tried to convince myself that it was all not real, but my mind told me it was real. But there's something wrong with this girl, but what is she? I don't know. I had nothing but to ignore this creepy girl because I was exhausted and tired and had not slept well for a while. All I needed was a glass of water, warm, warm, long sleep. The water and the bathroom were able to do them, but I couldn't ignore it and sleep. Whenever I try to close my eyes, I open it again in minutes to look at it and make sure it still exists. But more terrifying than it exists, it's that it doesn't exist so lightened when I looked at it and found no trace of it. I opened all the lights of the house and came out looking for her like crazy, but no trace of her. Looking around the house, but it's not there either. The worst fear I felt when it disappeared is the fear I felt, and I'm sure it exists and watching me, but where it is. I sat on the cable shaking with fear and stress. No way I can sleep now. I'll get a cup of coffee and sit down and see what happens, and I stood up and opened the kitchen light, and I saw it. She was standing there in the corner of the room, looking at me from behind the curtain, watching me sit on the cable. My heart was set. I felt like I couldn't resist anymore. I couldn't take my eye off it. I brought coffee. I brought a knife out of the kitchen and I sat down. I don't know what to do with the knife, but at least I feel safe, even if it's a false feeling. 
and I take us looking at each other for hours, long hours. I threw a lot of things at her, but everything goes through her and hacks her. I had to find a solution. I wouldn't still be sitting like that. I made my decision. I got in my car. I got into my car. And I surprised when I looked at the mirror I found her sitting in the back chair. I couldn't bear the idea of being this close. So I got out of the car and took a procedure like crazy. Whenever I look behind me, I find her behind me. She doesn't walk away, she gets close, she gets too close. At the end, I got to the police station. I asked them to lock me up for any charges, even 24 hours, and they did. I was cast in a very tight, solitary cell, with only a bed, a bathroom, and a tub. All I thought was that I was away from her here, that there were witnesses from people if anything happened to me. But the surprise is, she was here standing on the cell door with her face glued in the bars. And I was so tired, and so afraid. And I decided to sleep, and actually I slept. I don't know how long I grew, but when I woke up, it was. She was sitting on the bed next to me with the same terrifying smile on her face. And before I screamed, she reached out and touched her shoulders north. Suddenly I felt terrible pain crawling on my shoulders and hands before he moved to my chest, and I started screaming. Myself narrows my eyes off my heart hurts. I tried to stand up, but I fell on my face screaming. And it started to darken around me, but I walked up in the hospital. These events were six months ago, and I thought I'd tell them now because they started coming in about six weeks ago. But this time approaches faster. But this time she wasn't smiling, she was very angry and she stuck to something and put it behind her back. I couldn't know what that thing was. I write to you right now, standing on the door of my room, angry as usual, if anything happens to me, or I die of his heart nation, or I disappear, or anything happens to me. Make sure it's what happened.